welcome back to another tutorial this has been highly requested actually only like two or three people requested this so today i'm going to be showing you guys a 3d camera movement tutorial so with that being said let's get straight into the tutorial make a new composition these are the settings that i'm going to be using and yeah you can put your aspect ratio on whatever i'm putting my frame rate on 60 click ok now i'm going to make a new solid so go to layer new solid and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with text. So just put some random text, whatever text you want, it doesn't really matter. Now that you have your text, go ahead and make all your text layers a 3D layer. And then toggle motion blur on for all of them. Now you're going to want to take your text layers, place them so that they're different sizes and in different positions. So when you go to the scale, it works as normally. But then when you go to the position, you can put it back and forward. I'm gonna put all of these kind of back and then do it so that it's kind of growing in a sense throughout the video. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm gonna put an example. I probably put an example at the beginning of the video, but yeah. So go ahead and just play with your settings, whatever you wanna do, you can do a little rotation if you want, doesn't really matter. So now that you have all your text nice and placed, go ahead and add a new 3D layer. So go to layer, new camera just click ok i'm going to be using the default settings and then go ahead and make a new no layer and then i'm going to toggle on 3d and then i'm going to you're going to copy it for however many beats or words you have after you've done that go ahead and parent pick whip your camera layer to your null and then do that over and over and over again until you have no more left and now that you've done that, I'm going to adjust this so that it's zoomed all the way in, the scale. And then I'm going to click the P on my keyboard and I'm going to adjust it so that it's showing the first word. Now that you have this first word showing, click the U on your keyboard and grab these and just move it to however far you want to wherever your beat is. Um, and then I'm actually going to move this over and i'm going to move the null scale and position keyframes over so that it gives the edit some depth i guess and then you're going to grab these keyframes easy ease them click fn f9 or just f9 if you have a full size keyboard go to here you can also use your flow plugin but i know not a lot of you guys have that so we're just going to be using the speed graph for now and then go ahead and make your now you're gonna go to your second null and you're gonna go a few frames back I'm gonna go about four to five frames back and then I'm gonna click on the S and the P on my keyboard you can also do a keyframe for rotation if you did a rotation and I'm just going to keyframe it click on the U on my keyboard and then I'm gonna go however many frames forward I need to go and then I'm going to adjust this so that it is showing the second word. Now we're gonna do the same graph, except you kind of want your peak to be touching your beat, like so, like that, but not. don't make it so sharp or else it's gonna look fun. And then essentially just do the same thing over and over and over again until you're finished with all your layers. And once you're finished, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Obviously, it's not going to look exactly like mine unless you follow the exact tutorial. But I hope that this worked for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment any other tutorials you guys want me to make. And yeah, thanks for 500 subscribers on YouTube and 18K on TikTok.